Donald Trump falsely inflated his net worth by billions of dollars to unjustly enrich himself and to cheat the system, thereby cheating all of us. A monumental moment for former President Donald Trump, his family, and the company that bears his name. The New York Attorney General's civil fraud lawsuit alleging Trump, his adult sons, and his business engaged in a decade-long fraud begins in a Manhattan courtroom today. Attorney General Letitia James says Trump and others pumped up the value of multiple properties, including Mar-a-Lago, his triplex apartment in Trump Tower, the family home in New York known as Seven Springs, and numerous golf courses. By doing so, she alleges Trump lined his own pockets. Mr. Trump and the Trump Organization saved an estimated $150 million by receiving favorable interest rates that were only provided based on the false and misleading statements of financial condition. We also believe that he illegally saved millions of dollars in federal tax benefits. The case will be decided by New York State Judge Arthur N. Gorin, who has already found Trump engaged in persistent fraud for a decade, writing in a ruling last week that Trump is living in, quote, a fantasy world, and he canceled business certificates for several Trump entities. James is still seeking to hold the Trumps individually accountable and prove they conspired and falsified business records, issued false financial statements, and engaged in insurance fraud. I don't know what I did wrong. This is the first court case to put the Trump family on trial and threatens to tarnish the image Trump carefully crafted as a successful businessman and used to catapult himself to the White House. James is planning to call 28 witnesses during the trial, including the former president and all three of his adult children. Trump's former fixer, Michael Cohen, whose testimony on Capitol Hill in 2019 kickstarted the investigation, is also on the witness list. It was my experience that Mr. Trump inflated his total assets when it served his purposes, such as trying to be listed amongst the wealthiest people in Forbes and deflated his assets to reduce his real estate taxes. Trump has denied any wrongdoing. This is the greatest witch hunt in the history of our country. And claims the attorney general has unfairly targeted him. She developed a political platform and made a career out of maliciously attacking me and my business before she even understood or was elected or reviewed one of the millions of pages of documents we willingly produced.